Hey friends, it's Kip Icon and welcome back to Kip Plays Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I'm so excited to be back at this, uh, back to the game. Now I wanted to say something real fast, um, uh, since I don't really remember this game and and how long certain sections are and everything, what I'm gonna do going forward instead of having like hour and a half long episodes, I'm, I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes and um, gonna make it more digestible, which means that the potential exists that some stuff may have to get split up a little bit, um, but I think that'll be better in the long run instead of having a bunch of, you know, like I said, hour and a half long episodes. So anyway, just wanted to get that out of the way. So without further ado, Oops. Nope, didn't want that. It's this- I love this opening screen because it always changes the character who's standing there next to you. Alright, let's see here... Yeah. Daily life daytime. Here we go! I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear. But Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. Uh, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> look at, look at uh, Ishimaru. He's like really into it. Aoi is kind of like half-heartedly doing it. And uh, Tagami's over there like, you imbeciles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Mm-hmm. <sighs> ah, doesn't this feel just great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one on keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah! Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness. This power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm. Uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode! Ay carumba. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But a new world? Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. Hey, whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a staple food source, now let's get moving! <laughs> Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Alright, anything to explore? No. Are to leave the area. Huh, at least they didn't try to put that sword back in the trophy case there. What's up, Hagakure? Hey Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. 
What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. You're serious. That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? <laughs> I've been stuck. I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. Let me out. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone? Aw, you're a good dude, Hagakure. At least I think. Oh, what's up? Got it. Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem the path to the second floor has opened up. You hear me? But it's also of the utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. All right, now, do we really need to investigate stuff on the, uh, let's, let's open our map. I kind of want to just hurry up and go to the second floor. Let's see. Nobody's down here. Well, I guess Mondo is here. Where's Mondo? In the stairs, right? Okay. Maybe up a flight? Oh, 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 sorry, I know that's a little just- Oh, okay, I can't actually move up the stairs, I have to click the mouse on it. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Probably something horrifying. If Monokuma has anything to do with it- Ooh, I like this- This flooring up here. This- This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's got to be something here. Well, first and foremost, we're going to stop in the girls' restroom. And Makoto's going to get embarrassed, I'm sure. This is the girls' bathroom. If I ever took one step in there, I'd become a total creep in everyone's eyes, and that'd be it for me. Yeah. Japanese people, am I right? Or Japanese culture, rather. We have unisex bathrooms here in the States these days. Or at least... That tends to be what's going on. Can we go in the stall? This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. Alright, uh, Q? Note tab? Oh, I guess that's it. Alright, R to leave the area. So we got bathrooms, okay. That goes downstairs. Ooh, there's a pool! Alright, now we're talking. Oh, I bet Aoi's already in here. Oh, I was like, wait, this isn't a... Oh, my God. Just is that a second. machine gun? Oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A pool, 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 pool. Guess what? We already knew that. There's a sign on the door, Aoi. You, you don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. What's up, Celeste? <laughs> the second floor has opened up, the living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. The occasional class trial? That means someone's gonna d Celeste, I <laughs> worry about you. I really worry about you. Aw, Chihiro! Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No, I, I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. What? But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room. Um, it's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it, is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia though. Well, could it be that there's a huge freaking machine gun up here? Pointing at the locker room door? Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here, why would we need something like that? Um, there's the girls' locker room. Behind this door is... The locker room? 
This is the girls' locker room. This is fine. A true gentleman will respect our space, yes? All right, all right. Behind this door is the locker room? Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course. Ay, ay, ay. What are you doing here, Monokuma? Really, really? Oh. Ooh, ah. hmm. If you want to unlock the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh-huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... Hmm, but... What if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. Ay ay ay. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? Yeah. And it'll be all Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Owie, sometimes listen to yourself, dear heart. Um, no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get him in the locker room, would it not? Huh. What? That never even occurred to me! To think someone would be so low, so cowardly, so devilish! Hmm? Hmm. Okay, then how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule! As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so, so now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Yeah, seriously, why the tough security like that? Of course! It's because all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs! You're at that age you try humping a plastic bottle! So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a vigorous watch, a rigorous watch! <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. Yeah, right, like, why is it okay that... Like, Sakura can spend the night in, um, Aoi's room, yet the, there's such strict uh, punishment for going in the wrong gender locker room. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. But yeah, it's, once again, it's a very Japanese cultural thing. Yes. Yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. However, remember that there are cameras in there, so... Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya later. Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! <sighs> Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it. Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Yeah, how about that hairdo that would totally be ruined in the pool? Celeste does not seem like someone who would want to get, uh, sussed. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry, I'll pass this time. That's right, she doesn't like, uh, swimsuits. How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. <laughs> Alright, are we done here? Dang, there's a lot of stuff to look at. The boy's locker room card reader. I can open it using my e-handbook. So, do? Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, wow, the locker room is like a is like an actual gym. Um, tab. Okay, well, that, there's the big, big boob McGillicuddy over there. Yukio... Now that is an interesting poster. Obviously someone put this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this here? Oh, come on. It's innocent enough. Um, we have camera, the door to the pool, and the monitor. Mm, dang, I love this music. Wow! That was impressive. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed... Oh, really? Only one thing to look at in this whole huge room? Oh, it's a separate section over here. Okay, oh, but still only the one thing, this locker. Lockers. 
Well, I would expect to see that in any normal pool. Oh, nice! Alright. Um. Alright. Oh, okay. There's a. Oh, look at all of those, uh, boarded up windows. Um. Wait, what am I looking for over here? I can come to this section, but there's not actually anything to look at? That's interesting. What about over here? And is it gonna be the same thing? I can come to this section, but there won't be anything to actually look at? Oh, wait, what? Oh no, that just takes me there. All right, all right. I get it. Leave the pool. Time to go diving in the pool. And we can leave the gym, or the boys' locker room. Mm. Gosh, that is so intimidating. I would, I would be so hesitant to even you, you accidentally swipe my handbook on the wrong thing. But I guess if I were trapped in a school, I would be really happy about having a pool to occupy my time with. Ooh, I love the butterfly wallpaper. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. What does that mean? I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. I should probably take a really close look around. Okay. Um. Oh, no! You mean I can- wait, I have 90 Monokuma coins? Are you kidding me? First of all, the oh no was about, um... I didn't know that you could get Monokuma coins by looking at, like, the clock or the monitor or... Alright, let's see here... What about the window? Is it telling me- yeah, I can look at the window. Is there a coin there? Yeah, I shouldn't be surprised, but on the second floor, also, the windows here have the same metal plates covering them. Okay, alright. Alright, I'm missing some coins here, but I think we should be okay. I think what I'm gonna do is get the Monokuma gifts from the Mono, mono Machine or whatever, um, off screen. Just because I don't know how interesting that process is to watch. Let's see here. All right, library. I love a good library. Dang, this is a really good library. Wow, well, we're not gonna be starved for stuff to do here at this school while we're trapped. <sighs> and while we're not murdering. It's remarkably dusty in here and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation. They have all these books here and not one copy of any of my works. I doubt they would have fan fiction in a library, friend. <sighs> well, yeah, why would they have comics in the library? Plus, most fan is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> you just don't get it, not at all. I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell that nothing you do is worthwhile. Dang! Toko, you just get colder and colder, don't you? <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. Oh, no. Now hear this, appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the rind that contains the mini pulp of my genius. Here we go. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. So then why is it that you focus on, probably, I, I, I haven't seen your fanfic, but why is it that you focus on sexy 2D busty girls with perfect bodies? That's something I never understood is people who draw characters for, for games and, 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 you know, manga and stuff. Why does everyone always have a perfect body, you know, quote unquote perfect body? I think it's time to change that up a little bit. <laughs> You're so f full of it. <laughs> Hmm. I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. Well, there's obviously an important looking letter here that we're going to look at in a second, but first let's talk to Tagami. Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Alright. 
You must be, uh, you must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? Oh yeah, I forgot, she is the ultimate, um, literary, uh, whatever, <laughs> the ultimate author. N not particularly, nothing's really c caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. You know nothing! Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Comic books, young adult, that, that stuff's a waste of time. Mm. I've seen you, what you write, Miss Fukawa. Mm. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. My what stories are all filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't c compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even m m mean anything. It's just a bunch of j j jumbled up letters. S someone should just burn it all. <laughs> oh, the lady duck protests too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy on boy action. <laughs> boy on boy? I don't care if it's an anime or a comics or a fanfic or whatever. Oh, it's all you. filth, throwaway culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Uh, just talking about it makes me so sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you've insulted me, and you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. Let's read this important letter that looks so, you know, ominous. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? H Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was it was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Uh, okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. Okay, this is important, I think. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being, what? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. What? For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Yeah, uh... Why did nobody tell us that Hope Speak Academy was closing down before we all came to the school? This is really, really weird. Hm. Hmm, the contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year o A year old? So, you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> Most likely the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But... That would mean it was closed when we got here just a few days ago. Yeah. This was just a couple days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? Yeah, and we were on the forums, looking, reading about the students and everything. Surely they would have been talking about it. I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about so this. So in other words... That must have all been a part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... That's true, that's true. Take it with a grain of salt. If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here... Oh... Could be because the school had already closed down. Hm. That would be a nice, simple solution, if it's true. But then, what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hoops Peak Academy. 
We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What do they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. Yeah. If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering the, that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Hmm... Oh wow, there's lots of stuff to look at. Let's not forget to look at the things we've already seen so we can get mono coins. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff to examine in here. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Interesting, why is that? Even though it's a prestigious high school, they've been pretty careless about keeping it nice. There we go. 92 monocoins, that is a lot of monocoins, friends. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, incredibly dusty, okay. Oh, okay, it's just several sections that will all say the same thing, I'm sure. Oh, but there's monocoins there. So it is worth my time to examine. Oh, not that again, though. To examine things I've already. Uh, they already know what it's gonna say because I want them monocoins, friends. I want them. Oh, what is that? Is that a laptop? It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. Yeah, that is a pretty old laptop. Why is this library like the land before time all covered in dust with like a 90s laptop? So. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Oh, wait a minute. Give it to Chihiro. Chihiro could fix it. Oh, wait. I mean, Chihiro, she's a programmer, not a IT person. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's happening in the outside world. Wow, Makoto. Great insight. We were all wanting to do the same thing. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor, but I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Wait, I didn't I didn't get a chance to look at the door. There was a door in there. Ay ay ay. Listen to me! <laughs> Listen to me! And the whole screen shakes. Love that. Love the style of this game. It has such great style. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, it looks like we explored the entirety of the second floor without even really realizing it. I didn't even look at the map yet of the second floor. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I have been and I will continue to be Kip Icon as long as you guys continue to follow your drams. Bye!